After observing the link between poverty and disease in Taiwan, Ciji's founder, Master Zheng Yin, decided to build a hospital for the poorer east coast of the country. The hospital would promote humanitarian health care and respect for life. Finally, in 1986, Ciji General Hospital opened in Hualien. As part of our 45th anniversary coverage, today we start a new series of features on Ciji's medical mission. On June 28, 2003, at 3.50 in the afternoon, Hualien Siji Hospital completed its first major international operation. Conjoined twins Leia and Rachel Mollett were born connected at the chest in the Philippines. Their father, who was a poor farmer, earning less than one US dollar a day, says Siji changed the fate of his family. After over two months of planning, a medical team from almost 10 different departments at Hualien Siji Hospital successfully completed the six-hour separation procedure. As well as a relay of love, the operation was a result of international medical relief. In their grassroots work, Tsuji volunteers saw the link between poverty and disease, which is why on September 10, 1972, a free clinic was opened on Ren Ai Street in Hualien. Before, medical health was very bad. If you had no money, you couldn't afford to get sick. Back then, Zhang Chengwen, Deng Suqing and other medical workers gave up their lunch breaks twice a week to volunteer at the clinic. As soon as we got off work, we would go to the clinic and after it was over, run back to work. The brothers won't use our medicine. That medicine was all for the free clinic, for the poor. So they separated it very clearly into public and private use. That was the first time I saw that. On the insistence of Tsuji founder Master Zheng Yin, each patient was treated like a member of the family. On Tuesday and Saturday, the master would always make free time to come and see and show her concern. The master used to back the medicine. She would come here to help back the medicine. Apart from the center on Ren Ai Street, sometimes volunteers would go to Taidong to hold free clinics. In 15 years, over 140,000 cases were seen. Master Zheng Yen formally announced the plan to build Tsuji General Hospital in 1979. <laughs> Back then, the Tsuji Foundation only had 100 commissioners, but Master Zheng Yen wanted a hospital with five to 600 beds that experts estimated would cost 600 to 800 million NT dollars to build. That lofty call caught the imagination of the public and loyal Tsuji commissioners went into the streets and alleyways of Taiwan to raise money to help their spiritual master build the hospital. Others took part-time jobs as cleaners, while some sold their jewellery, withdrew their life savings and mortgaged their property. But most donors gave five, ten or a hundred dollars at a time. Apart from fundraising, finding an available plot of land was also a challenge. The first groundbreaking took place at the Guofu neighborhood on February 5, 1983. Volunteers spent two days cleaning up the land, but then a Taiwanese military project forced Tsuji to cancel its plan. A worried Master Zheng Yen did not sleep or eat for days. After a busy year, finally on April 24, 1984, another groundbreaking took place on Hualien's Zhongyang Road. But over each hurdle to find the funds, the land and the personnel, Tsuji's founder did not back down. On 
August 17, 1986, Tsuji Hospital opened. Up until April 2011, 49 overseas medical cases helped patients from 16 countries. As Tsuji reaches out around the world, currently there are nearly 10,000 volunteers in five continents who offer free healthcare services to people in 44 countries. Tsuji's medical mission is a testimony of love and compassion. Come on.